सेशन की रिकॉर्डिंग ऑल राइट जी वेलकम बैक वी हैव कवर्ड आवर फर्स्ट एजेंडा आइटम एयर पोल्यूशन कंट्रोल टेक्निक्स विद डॉक्टर जीशान वी आर मूविंग फॉरवर्ड विद द सेकंड एजेंडा आइटम दैट इज एयर क्वालिटी रेगुलेशन इन पाकिस्तान वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग टॉपिक एंड आई एम श्योर यू वुड बी ऑल वुड बी कीन टू नो द रेगुलेशन द रेलिवेंट रेगुलेशन इन पाकिस्तान फॉर दिस वी हैव डॉक्टर मोहसिना जुबैर she 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 works in in pakistan environmental protection agency islamabad um and she has developed and implement national environmental quality standards for air and water uh, air quality monitoring water quality testing of reservoirs filtration plant located in islamabad uh, industrial and municipal effluents collection of analyzed samples report results maintain records that's what actually she does um the most important to to highlight about her that she she has the authority of issuing um the certificate to different laboratories located in islamabad um and she has a phd um from caas beijing china um in the analytical chemistry theek <clears> hai <throat> ji so uh, dr mohsina thank you for joining us today and uh, looking forward to your session i'm giving you the um, administrative rights so you can share your uh, slides have any g you have the right so you may please share your uh, screen dr mohsina can you hear me hello ji ji up you can share your screen now I think you have some connectivity issues. Please bear with us. So I'm sorry. Uh. okay uh when we are talking about the air quality regulation our main act is uh, pipa pakistan environmental protection act 1997 uh this act provide the protection conservation rehabilitation and improvement of the environment for the prevention and control of pollution and promotion of sustainable development actually um, when we talk about the islamabad air quality yes uh, dr mohsin to allow me allow me to uh, interrupt um mere khali aapki taraf internet ke jo uh, connection is stable bahut nahi hai so what i would request ki agar aap apne video off kar le and uh, audio jo hai slide yahan se display hongi and audio ke sath aapki voice quality better okay 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 as you say as you say yeah. now that's better i think now that's better okay okay yeah. actually uh, air quality let you highlight the anchair quality uh, in inside the city because we are located in the mid city of islamabad hsh sector and uh, we have a uh, fixed and uh, mobile air quality station uh, the criteria pollutant responsible for deteriorating urban air quality are oxides of nitrogen sulfur particulate matters emission sources mainly fossil fuels combustions in the transport industrial and residential sectors Uh, increasing number of vehicles massive construction work in the city and smoke output from the brick cleans and transboundary pollutions is causing air pollution in the uh, capital city uh, i was talking about the main act of our 1997 uh, which we call pipa act under this act we have uh, many regulations for uh, water and air quality for eia and for other uh, sections uh, and this uh, park epa is the attached department of the ministry of climate change ministry of uh, climate change uh, delegated powers and functions of the pakistan environmental protection agency to the provincial governments in uh, in act in october 1998 for sub delegations to the provincial epas uh, now provincial epas are working independently but the federal epa coordinate with the provincial epas to implement the provisions of the act Uh, if we have same uh, some issues and on regulations and agenda then we coordinate and sharing information with each other uh, actually uh, in our uh, park epa we have the setup of laboratory for air and water sections and basically id lab and aqs section 
Pakistan Environmental Protection Agency uh, has established central laboratory. Uh, we have NEQS for drinking water, NEQS for municipal and liquid industrial effluents, NEQS for ambient and, uh, ambient and uh, industrial gases emissions, NEQS for vehicular exhaust and noise. The equipment facilities available for testing and research in the field of air, water, soil, municipal and liquid industrial effluent in clean laboratory. Actually, main sources uh, are the uh, pollution, uh, are the vehicular emissions, industrial solid waste burning, and brick lens. Uh, we have a uh, two way to collecting information for about the air pollution. Uh, for uh, we collecting information on air quality, air quality monitoring, and industrial emission reporting and inventories like. Uh, uh, industries located in Islamabad, the uh, industrial areas, they reporting their uh, monthly data and uh, send their reports to Park EPA. And a major proportion of uh, air pollution is generated from the burning of fossil fuels uh, for meeting energy and transportation needs. Actually, basic regulation related to the air quality in Pakistan under the PIPA Act, uh, we have NEQS for ambient air quality. Uh, no, uh, noise white number SRO and uh, NEQS for motor vehicle exhaust and noise uh, wide uh, number SRO 472, revise NEQS for liquid and municipal and uh, NEQS for gases emissions under unless uh, otherwise uh, defined wide number SRO. These are the official documents which describe all the details, uh, their limits, their NEQS, their types, all detail is available in these uh, documents, in legal documents, in regulations. Uh, now we have the, uh, I will talk about the NEQS for industrial gases emissions. We have some parameters which we uh, see in the uh, our regulations, like main parameters are smoke, particulate matters, uh, uh, hydrogen chloride, chlorine, hydrogen fluoride, hydrogen sulfide, sulfur oxides, carbon monoxide, uh, lead, mercury, heavy metals, cadmium, arsenic, copper, antimony, zinc, and oxides of norm, uh, nitrogen. We uh, sources of emission standards are available. We revised the standards a uh, few years ago, and uh, we have uh, uh, like uh, you are watching. These are our. Uh, uh, fixed monitoring station and mobile monitoring station. Uh, fix uh, uh, the upper one, fixed station is located in H8 sector, which we take, uh, we report regularly data uh, of uh, uh, for uh, NEQS uh, parameters like, but we observe other parameters also, but we report only NO2, SO2 and PM 2.5. And uh, uh, yes, next please. Yes, this is the our uh, air quality surveillance room. We install these cameras in our industrial area. We watch 24/7. We have a backup data recording of 15 days uh, are available. They send their monthly reports to EPA. If we have we but we cross check uh, their reports. If we found some viola uh, violations, uh, we call them, and uh, you can see uh, they install three uh, cameras at their uh, three positions, three different areas uh, like at the roof, at the furnace area, and at the in the scrap yard. You can see uh, they use uh, quality scrap for uh, melting in furnace. Now, before that, they didn't care and they use uh, some um, other materials for furnace, but now they are using quality uh, material. And uh, NAQS, uh, Quality standards for ambient air, we have some different parameters and uh, these are effective from uh, uh, 2010 and uh, 2013. They have uh, different limits for uh, uh, reporting and uh, as per industry, they can report uh, their uh, parameters according to their uh, industry and uh, sulfur oxides and nitrogen suspended matters and the particulate matters. Uh, you can change the slide. Yes, uh, this is the air quality monitoring in ICT. We visit brick industries. 
you can see we took actions against the bricklins if they burn tires and other things uh, incinerators if are not working properly uh, we issued epo and we imposed penalties and uh, now in uh, ict so many bricklins zigzag bricklins are working and uh, we have uh, more than um, hundreds uh, i think issued epo on a regular basis on violations uh other we work all, all over the air uh, comparison between the pm 2.5 concentration of uh, 2019 and 20 you can see uh, so many uh can you change the slide ji uh bas ek request hai madam aapne batana hai ki you change the slide please because i'm not uh, technically sound so oh, okay okay sure okay i got that got okay these are the neqs uh, you can see the limits milligram cubic meter and uh, they are the basic parameters uh, industries are reporting to us and uh, we observe these uh, like parameters in other uh, uh, asphalt plant and other in uh, industries if they are working uh, and uh, creating air pollution so you can see sulfur oxides and uh, actually we observe the air quality all over the air and uh, we have uh, we report monthly reports we report on daily basis and uh, mo mostly in islamabad we have issues the motor vehicle emissions contribute the air pollution and a major factor in the creation of uh, uh, air pollution uh, you can see the passengers and heavy duty trucks are the major source of this air pollution in islamabad because we have the dry airport in uh, near the islamabad uh, railway station you can see we have uh, industrial area we face a lot of traffic heavy traffic and uh, because a lot of um, furnaces steel furnaces are located there uh, these are the basic parameters uh, pollutants uh, time weighted uh, concentration in ambient air methods of uh, uh, measurements are available you can see we adopted the standard methods are uh, quoted in our uh, document which we apply in our regular monitoring uh, actually we issued uh, annual reports of air quality annually monthly madam basically beech mein aap aapko shayad connection lost ho gaya so hi is is screen aapko nazar aa raha hai is it the same slide that you're speaking on no 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 this is not the same slide aap actually it is not visible slide is not visible so Slide is not visible. Can आप आप लोगों को ये slide नजर आ रही है? Can somebody give me a thumbs up? And you can see the slide. जी slides नजर आ रही हैं. Sulfur dioxide वाली. जी sulfur dioxide. So madam, um, what I would request कि आप kindly यहाँ screen को देखें कि यहाँ पे कौन सी slide है. And if you want me to change the slides, you just ask me to do it. I'll do it. Uh, hello. But but slide is not visible.
Is this the same slide that you're speaking on or do you want me to change it? Uh, please, next slide. Is it this one? Uh, I talked about it. Okay. So are we talking yeah. about standard for Indian TA? Okay. Uh, yes. Okay, so if you want me to change, so please. This, this is our this is our uh, latest regulations about uh, in we released the SRO in uh, 2010 2010, and uh, we revised these uh, NEQS uh, for basic parameters of uh, ambient air, sulfur dioxide, and oxides of nitrogen, oxides of nitrogen, SOG, NOx, SOX, and uh, uh, particulate matter, and. Uh, Uh, next is uh, I will talk. Uh, I will talk about the section 11. Prohibitions of uh, certain discharge or emissions under the Act of 1997. We have uh, several uh, sections. Uh, section 11, 12, 13, and 14. Yes. The next is okay. Please. Uh, okay. Sorry. Yes, please. A comparison uh, on between uh, PM 2.5 concentration of 2019 and 2020. You know, in 2020, uh, in mid of uh, March, uh, lockdown is imposed in uh, ICT. So results of uh, 2019 and 20 are little bit changed. And uh, you can see the PM 2.5 uh, was high in 2019 because we have several reasons. In 2019, uh, after the Supreme Court decisions, uh, steel furnaces installed bag house filter system in Islamabad. Now, almost 10 steel furnaces install the same system. They are collecting their uh, dust and uh, carbon suits bags, and they are reselling their uh, uh, dust. And uh, it's really good for uh, them because uh, they are earning money uh, monthly and uh, annually. And uh, you can see in few months, uh, PM 2.5 is high. Basically, from October to February, we have, you know, the smoke season. And in this, uh, weather is very cold and atmosphere, uh, atmospheric uh, inversions are common. There is an increase in coal and other fossil fuel usage for heat and lack of uh, pollutant dispersions. So winter smoke formation uh, is from smoke affected the urban areas mostly. That's why in uh, especially from start October to February, uh, PM 2.5 is observed high. But after that, uh, in April and uh, to September, situation is getting normal in Islamabad and other areas. And uh, you can see, uh, I, com I compare the data and you can compare the month through the line Yes, next uh, is the, I will talk about the annual report. Uh, we observe the several uh, parameters like uh, NO2, SO2, PM 2.5, but NO2 and SO2 uh, was within NEQS, but we face problem for PM 2.5. And uh, you can see the lines uh, because they have a different, uh, uh, NEQS standards, PM 2.5, uh, NEQS standards is uh, 35 uh, micro, you know, cubic meter. So their limit is very sharp. And uh, in 2020, due to several reasons, PM 2.5 was under NEQS uh, and it's uh, 13. 31.99, almost 32 micrograms. And uh, because school, universities, and other offices mostly was closed. And uh, uh, this is our annual average data. You can see the almost PM 2.5 is 32.99. But 2019, that was about the 36 uh, micrograms. So in 2020, in 2020, we achieved the PM 2.5 within limit. Uh, of course, in few months it was high, but uh, rest of year it was good. You can see the situation. You can see the graph. Uh, this is our annual monthly average report of 2020. You can uh, see the. Uh, NO, NO2 and uh, SO2 is uh, within range. 
but uh, PM 2.5 in few months, you can see the average uh, is out of uh, NAQS, not compliance with NAQS. And, uh, but uh, from uh, March, it uh, came under the NAQS uh, because in March uh, uh, 2020, from mid of March, after 15 March, uh, lockdown is imposed in uh, uh, Islamabad. So, but uh, industries improve a lot. They install wet scrubbers and bag house filter systems and uh, bricklins are also uh, was closed in uh, uh, ICT vicinity. Now very few bricklins are working here and uh, other uh, bricklins are in the process of uh, conversion. Uh, they are a technology and uh, they are using very good material in their, uh, for uh, brick production. Uh, they are not using rubber and other uh, bad uh, uh, material in their uh, uh, brick cleans. Annual average, you can see uh, all are uh, within NEQS in 2020. And I hope in 2021, it will also in the comply with NEQS. And uh, this is the uh, latest data, last six months, 2021, you can see uh, in January, uh, PM 2.5 was very high, 53.91, and in February, 50.32. In March is about uh, 21.68 uh, when the temperature uh, getting increased. And April, May, June, if you see the month of June in few days, we have also PM 2.5 very high. But other parameters are, uh, very in uh, normal uh, state, like uh, they uh, lie within the NAQS. Actually, our air quality station report many other parameters, but they didn't fall within the uh, NAQS, so we didn't report. Like we have uh, total hydrocarbon, non-methane, methane, ozone, and other parameters also recorded, but we report only these main uh, parameters. Uh, next uh, is the air quality report of uh, June 2021. You can see the uh, parameters. And uh, in graph, you can see the few days of June, PM 2.5 was very high. I think maybe you remember for many reasons, we have uh, dust storms in ICT and uh, other country. Yes, I discussed this all, yeah, graph, uh, even you can see uh, early uh, 15 days of June, you can see PM 2.5 is high, but uh, overall average is okay, uh, PM 2.5, because PM 2.5, you know, you have a very health concern, and uh, so that's why, but uh, last few days, uh, PM 2.5 was comply with an AQS within your range. Yes, section 11. Actually, this is very important sections because uh, uh, we impose penalty on the proponent subject to the provision of this act and the rules and regulations. No person shall discharge or emit or allow the discharge or emissions of any fluent or waste or air pollutant or noise in an amount. Consideration or level which is in excess of the NAQS where applicable the N standards established under sub clauses, federal government may levy a pollution charge on any person who contravenes or fails to comply with the provisions of subsections uh, to be calculated at such rates and collected in the accordance with such procedures as may be prescribed. Uh, we have uh, regulations on it. We can charge uh, pollution charge according to their uh, rate of emissions and uh, what are they em emitted in the air, any persons who pays the pollution charge levied under subsections shall not be charged with an offense with respect to that contravenes or fluors. Uh, fluors. Uh, the provision of subsection shall not be applied to project which commence industrial activity or after the 30th day of June 1919 
four. But uh, these industries, uh, they commenced operation before 1994. They submitted their uh, EMP, environmental uh, management plans, and uh, they tackle well in their uh, premises, and they install many systems. Uh, environmental complaints. We, com we receive uh, air pollution complaints and other complaints through the PM portals and uh, on our uh, websites and through our uh, PM portal and other complaint uh, system. Uh, we issued environmental protection order, EPOs, legal notices, and enforcement team visit the sites and uh, impose penalties and took administrative uh, actions. Uh, you can see number of complaint is received in uh, last year, uh, 495, and responded resolved 421, SIR visits 387. These are collective. Uh, SIR and visits like for uh, on complaint, mostly we receive uh, uh, complaints about the air pollution and water pollutions. And uh, penalties, I will talk about the penalties, uh, whoever contravenes or fails to comply within the provision of uh, section 11, 12, 13 or section 16. These are the sections of 1997 act. Uh, if any order issued the uh, their under shall be punishable with fine, which may be extended to 1 million rupees. Uh, mostly limited uh, if imposed fine uh, to 1 million is enough. And in the case of the continuing contravention or failures with an additional fine, which may extend to 100,000 rupees for every day during which first such contravention or failures continues, provided that if contravention of the provisions of section 11 also constitutes contravention of the provisions of section 15, such contraventions shall be punishable under subsection two only. Uh, mostly we impose uh, penalties on the industries and the construction uh, projects because uh, they involve in the violations. And it's uh, very important every year and uh, we shoot EPOs and we conduct public hearings. Uh, they personally appear and uh, the undertakings are given and they mostly after that warning, they compliance the NAQS. Okay, I will talk about the, our new project and way forward capacity building of Park EPA. We have very limited capacity of working, limited staff, but next we are going to install under the Billion Tree Tsunami new four uh, air quality station uh, in Islamabad in the a different areas and uh, one vehicular emission setup, testing setup, con uh, construction is uh, under process and uh, number of, uh, upgradation of existing two air quality monitoring stations because we got these air quality stations from JICA. They are a little bit old. Their maintenance is a little bit, uh, not little bit, very big problem for us because uh, you know the technology is changing day by day. So we are going on uh, uh, next, uh, through the project we are going install a new air quality stations at the uh, different entrance of Islamabad at different points. Then uh, we will report data uh, in very good manners. Uh, future view and perspective, the deterioration of public health hazards and environmental condition demands that Park EPA promptly mobilize its available resources to protect the environment of ICT. Uh, this is the uh, plan actually, the project name is PLAN because uh, the full name is uh, Pollution Load Assessment Network. Plan project will establish a network of four new and two existing ambient air quality monitoring stations uh, and uh, in uh, upgradation in ICT. A central data surveillance center will also be established in Park EPA to retrieve and process the environmental data. Then uh, because a lot of students and researchers ask us for data of uh, current and previous years, so after that, I think the good network will establish and uh, good information will be available for all researchers and students and for health point of view as well. Park EPA will be uh, able to investigate into the current environment baseline by monitoring uh, after plan. 
A plan project will generate baseline data that would be used for further emission reduction pro programs. Uh, like many countries, air quality data will be linked with the traffic management, reformulations of fuels, urban planning, setting up emissions, standards of moving and fixed sources, formulating ambient air quality and its standards. Air quality for, uh, forecasting systems will be initiated for public awareness along with the health advisory. Uh, public awareness is really important. So we are on social media through WhatsApp. We are connected WhatsApp, Twitter, Facebook. Uh, if you want any information, if you want complaint, you can direct contact with us. These are the useful link for air quality data, uh, like we are uh, uh, disseminate and uh, publish on a regular basis. Uh, this is uh, this is the our uh, official website environmentalgovernment.pk uh, and uh, we are on Twitter, Facebook and other places. And uh, mostly actually we have the regulation but uh, that time was a little bit disturbance. I just want again, uh, we have the pollution charge for industry uh, uh, after calculation and collection rules uh, 20, 2001. Uh, in 2001, because uh, as per uh, industry involved in vi violation or construction project and other, so we as per their uh, parameter, they are violating uh, as per day and uh, rate of as per the rate of emissions, we calculate their uh, pollution charge. So after that, uh, these rules are available and uh, rules for motor vehicle exhaust and noise uh, are available. And now we are working on the, because you know, the Euro 5 is introduced in Pakistan and the OMCs are producing and importing. So we are working on the new uh, fuel standards and uh, uh, simultaneously we are revising our uh, uh, recent and uh, existing NAQS. Uh, we want uh, NAQS to revise as a sectorial specific, like many industries have uh, different problems uh, uh, as their water pollution and uh, regarding their air pollution. So we are working on the sectorial specific parameters uh, because all these NAQS are not uh, uh, like uh, uh, convincible and uh, good for every industry. So this is our the uh, new message. Uh, say no to plastic bag. We are working on it, and uh, in ICT, it's uh, goes also uh, our team go regular. But this is the soft reminder who are living in uh, ICT areas. Say please don't use plastic. So I, I think uh, with a little bit uh, interruptions and uh, network problem. Uh, I'm uh, not so uh, delivered, not so good, but uh, I tried my best. So any question? Thank you, Dr. Anybody I think it was, it was great. Uh, we understand uh, when, when we deliver any online sessions, so things happen. Um, although we had, um, you know, prior session as well, but sometimes things happen. So anybody would like to ask any question, please. Gigi, Gigi, yes. I have one question, if I can. Dr. Moslina, thank you so much for the presentation. Um, my question might not be like more of technical, but the, I just want to know about my general understanding because for Islamabad, I know that uh, we started uh, this ban of uh, instantly plastic bags. So there was lots of hue and cry. So for me, like as a, a, a social scientist, yeah, someone who has got background in communication sciences, uh, for me, like uh, the better approach would have been that we gradually change karte, general to specific, probably pehle government ki taraf se, let's say free uh, campaigns chalai jati, just may people would have been given probably free um, is tarike ke bags, jo ke disposable ho, ya jo, jo decompose ho jate ho. And then probably some organizations, yeah, particularly NGO sector for onboard, so that gradually attitudinal change, 
और उसके बाद हम जो प्लास्टिक मैन्युफैक्चरिंग कंपनीज हैं उनको शायद हम ऑन बोर्ड लेते हैं और उसके बाद ग्रेजुअली हम इस चेंज को इम्प्लीमेंट करते क्योंकि शायद जब उसको सडनली बैन किया गया एकदम से नोटिफिकेशन आ गया सोशल मीडिया के ऊपर इलेक्ट्रॉनिक मीडिया के ऊपर तो उसका रीजन वॉज के देर वॉज लॉट्स ऑफ लाइक पुश बैक फ्रॉम द मैनुफेक्चर ऑफ प्लास्टिक बैग एंड एट द सेम टाइम के तमाम शॉप्स वगैरह और आपने वो देखा होगा जैसे सेवर के ऊपर भी सेवर को भी दे सील्ड किए बिकॉज देवर नॉट कम्प्लाइंग विद जो भी उनकी वो पैकेजिंग की पॉलिसीज वगैरह होती हैं सो एज अ सेक्टोरल एक्सपर्ट हाउ वुड यू लाइक टू कॉमेंट ऑन दैट नो इट्स नॉट सडन इट्स टू लॉर ऑफ टाइम because in uh, uh, before in march uh, 2020 we announced that in august 2020 we will ban the plastic in islamabad so uh, almost 6 uh, months uh, and before that in consultation involved lot of consultation involved with manufacturers and uh, other uh, uh, stakeholders because in ict area uh, no plastic manufacturer is uh, manufacturing plastic like shoppers all shoppers are coming from uh, outside out of ict so no business harm but this is the you know the uh, trend setter uh, like for ke log jo hai wo isko thoda sa adopt kare but logon ne jo hai wo resist kiya halanki ye jo plastic pollution ho raha tha islamabad mein aap khud dekhein ki humne observe kiya ki last year jo barish hui barish hui islamabad ke andar usme koi bhi naale jo hai wo chok nahi hue and uh, mm-hmm. you are talking about the uh, saver ab aap dekhen saver ki packing ab aap dekh le unhone aakhir ultimately wo gaye na us cheez ke upar ab aap dekhiye unki plastic jo hai wo nahi hai ji 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 aur jitne bhi bade brands hain aap dekhe wo almost plastic quit kar chuke hain aur jo uske substitutes bhi hain they are not so expensive jo unke substitute bhi ab unke aa rahe hain bioplastic hai dusre jitne bhi agar wo us kisam ke reusable bags leke aa rahe hain वो भी विद उनको उतने ही इकोनॉमिकल पड़ रहे हैं जिस तरह प्लास्टिक थी प्लास्टिक तो बहुत ही चीप थी ना अब जो उनको प्लास्टिक की दूसरी उसके सब्सटीट्यूट वो यूज कर रहे हैं या लोग अपने बैग भी यूज कर रहे हैं आप देखें वो उनके लिए वो भी उसी रेंज में आ रहे हैं जैसे बहुत सारे आप देखें ग्रोसरी स्टोर है अब आपको वो बैग ऑफर कर रहे हैं जब आप हर दफा इतना बैग लेंगे इतने रुपीज में तो फिर आप नेक्स्ट टाइम नेचुरली जो है वो अपना बैग लेके जाएंगे और ये एकदम नहीं एकदम ये नहीं हुआ क्योंकि कई साल से इसके ऊपर कंसंट्रेशन चल रही थी स्टेक होल्डर्स के साथ भी एकेडमिया के साथ भी मैन्युफैक्चरर्स के साथ भी इवन के जो हमारी सब्जी मंडीज हैं या दूसरे जो बड़े ब्रांड्स हैं उनके साथ भी लाइक ज्यादा इशू उनके लिए था जो फ्रोजन फूड वगैरह या जो इस किस्म के आइटम्स जो सेल करते थे लेकिन वो भी ग्रेजुअली इसके ऊपर चले गए उन्होंने भी वहां से वो अपनी प्लास्टिक जो थी वो रिमूव कर दी है तो इसलिए जो है वो एक थोड़ा सा ट्रेंड लाने के लिए जो है या ट्रैक पे लाने के लिए दूसरा ये कि हमने मार्च 2020 में अनाउंस कर दिया था कि इन अगस्त 2020 वी विल अपोज द बैन तो ये ग्रेजुअली ही हुआ है सडन नहीं हुआ पोल्यूशन के मैम प्लास्टिक के तो उसमें मैम प्लास्टिक के जो शॉपर आते हैं ना जीरो पॉइंट जीरो वन पार्ट कंसिडर होते हैं जो फिफ्टी फाइव परसेंट पार्ट है ना मैम जो आपके पास एफ एम सी जी फास्ट मूविंग कंज्यूमर गुड्स और आपके पास मल्टीनेशनल कॉर्पोरेशन मैम जैसे पेप्सी को उसको रेन इन करने के लिए ईपीए क्या कर रही है मैम क्योंकि वो हमें नजर नहीं आता कि किसी को पे बैन लग गया किसी पे फाइन लग गया तो उस पर मैम आपकी उन्होंने आप देखे अपने स्ट्रॉस चेंज कर लिए है अपनी बॉटल चेंज कर लिए है प्लास्टिक से वो दोबारा ग्लास पे जा रहे हैं और दूसरे अल्टरनेटिव्स पे जा रहे हैं दे आर वर्किंग क्योंकि देखिए उन उनकी भी एक एसोसिएशन बनी हुई है जो हमारी मिनिस्ट्री और ईपीएस के साथ अटैच है वो इसके लिए अल्टरनेट्स और सब्सटीट्यूट्स ला रहे हैं लेकिन ये कि ये थोड़ा ग्रेजुअली होगा एकदम से तो नहीं होगा जाहिर उनकी भी प्रोडक्शन का लॉस है तो दे आर वर्किंग इस किस्म की हमारी जो है वो बनी हुई है और बहुत अच्छा वो काम कर रहे हैं क्योंकि इंटरनेशनली भी जो है वो आपको पता है कि आफ्टर फ्यू ईयर्स ये चीजें खत्म होंगी मेरीन प्लास्टिक या दूसरी प्लास्टिक uh, रिसाइकलिंग जो है वो एक इशू बन चुकी है तो दे आर रिड्यूसिंग बट विद ग्रेजुअली टाइम थैंक यू ठीक है थैंक यू सो मच मैम
one one last question from ms sapura wajahat uh, uh ji thank you so much assalamu alaikum dr mohsina um thanks a lot for a great session mera primary question ye hai ki what is uh, federal epa doing in terms of coordination with the provinces um unki uh, implementation of these standards and also when it comes to the reporting of emissions data because i see a lot of like um, during my like you know whatever experience i have in the development sector jahan bhi hum baat karte the data ke upar or emissions ke especially wahan pe provinces ke upar bahut zyada lack aata tha so i it would be great if you can shed a light on that as well uh ji ji uh, thank you uh, actually uh, recently we constituted the environment commission under this commission we have the nqs uh, committee working on the nqs of uh, air and water so uh, provincial epa is on board uh, with uh, federal epa and ministry of climate change uh, we want a uniform nq Uh, Mr. Bura, have you got the answer? And especially, especially our uh, our uh, committee is working on the uh, sectorally specific NAQS for air and water, and they will uniformly implement in country. Ji, thank you uh, for that, Dr. Asif. Uh, if I request you to part your questions in the Q and A session, um, हम schedule जो बहुत behind है और we need to sort of gear up as well. Um, if if anybody have question they can text uh, i will answer yes. and all these regulations are available online you can go through it in detail thank you thank you for uh, dr masana for taking time out of your schedule and sharing your insights with us um, um dr fahim will again take 2 minutes break not 5 minutes just 2 minutes to 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 just uh, stop this um, session and uh,